the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always Namaste friends so in chapter 17 we saw about function how to define a function how to write a code and how to call a function so this is chapter 18 in this chapter 18 we'll be seeing about lambda so what is this lambda let me tell you this lambda is quite important because side by side we're also learning aws right so lambda is a huge part in aws i would strongly recommend paying a very close attention understanding the concepts because it's not only the python we'll also be seeing the aws programming side by side <clears throat> you know uh, so so you know i think it'll be a good lecture let's take a deep dive namaste friends so in today's lecture we'll be seeing about lambda so what a lambda is uh, and you know how we are going to be using it so to start with this lambda is also important because it also comes in aws so aws lambda uh, so let's actually learn what a lambda is we learned about function and we also saw the function takes in you know like you know if two parameters you have to give two arguments otherwise there'll be an error uh, you know and you have to call the function okay whatever function that you may define you have to call it as i always say you have to practice practice and practice in order to know what better so the lambda function is nothing but a, a small function the lambda can take any number of arguments but it only returns a single value or it can only have one expression okay so what do i mean by this let's actually uh, you know take something here okay i have this lambda so let's actually try and let's actually see how this actually works I have here, so here I say x equals lambda. So I've actually defined x equals lambda as a, and I say a plus 10, okay? And I say x equals five. So this is basically five plus 10. So let's actually run 15, bingo. Now let's actually take the second one. As I said, like, you know, there can be any number of expressions, uh, any number of um, arguments, but it returns only one expression. I have taken lambda a comma b in this case I only taken a but in this case I've taken a comma b indent I'm multiplying a and b and this is this x is 5 times 6 so this is 30 so let's see gives me 30 very nice um, now what I'm doing is I'm taking any number of expressions but returns only uh, one this thing right uh, so I'm taking 3, I'm adding all these things. So this is 5 plus 6 plus 2. So that is 13. So let's see, 13. Very nice. Uh, now, let's actually see this here. Um, yeah, so let's actually take this thing. Okay, let's actually take this thing and let's actually see what actually comes here. Okay. I'm defining my function. I'm saying return lambda a times n. And then I'm saying doubling my function. I'm calling my function because this is how I am calling my function. Remember, by defining, you have to say def my function. Uh, and then I'm calling my function with two. And then I say doubler. Okay, so this is two. And then I say print my doubler of 11. Okay, so where is this? This n is two. So I need to know what my this thing is and my doubler. So let's actually see what is actually happening. <laughs> I have 22. So what did I do here? <clears throat> so this is a times n. So I'm saying return lambda a, a times n. Okay, so that is n times n. So my function is basically 2. Okay, so this is my doubler and this is basically 2. So what I'm actually doing here is my doubler of 11. Okay, so this is 11 times 2. So this gives 22. Are we, are we good here? So this is how we actually do it. Now let's take another thing and let's say a tripler. Okay, let's take a tripler and let's see what is actually happening. Same here, but I say three and the tripler is 11. Okay, so this should give you 33, 33. Okay, let's take another one. I say function of 2, so 22 and 33, it should give me two numbers, 22 and 33. See? Now, basically, this is how like the lambda is actually defined. Okay, so this is how the lambda is actually defined. It is not going to give anything because this is how the lambda is actually defined. While defining a function is de defined, definition, define my function, whatever it is in the parenthesis, and then indent. 
<clears throat> okay so how would you define the function define okay uh, you know whatever the function name is in the parenthesis indent which is semicolon and how do you define lambda just like spell the word lambda whatever variable uh, and then an indent okay and then an indent here okay and and then after the indent what are we are going to say so this is exactly what we did here uh, so lambda and then there is an indent and then the lambda plus whatever number and then you are actually assigning a value here so this goes to this bucket this goes to this bucket and this is what we are seeing are we clear here okay uh, so as I always say I've done everything here this lambda is quite a quick lecture as I always say we need to practice practice and practice okay so by practice only we'll get everything uh, what I will also do is once the basics of the Python is actually covered so let me also try and see like you know some examples where we're building some projects using each and everything okay so that this is like base and then on top of the base till we get thorough we'll do um, and you know as I always say like you now within the six months let's be to that mid to high level if you have any questions you know where to contact me and like always I would like to thank you for giving me your time uh, till we see you next time take care cheers namaste friends I trust you have actually seen my lecture on lambda probably enjoy the same and if you have any questions you can always contact me I'll try to explain to the best of my abilities uh, like always, I would like to thank two persons. One is you for giving me a golden time. And the other is my wife, Jayashree, for allowing me to follow my passion. Till we see you next time. Take care. Cheers.